I'm surprised you would go along with this action, Ms. Holcomb. I'm not sure what the right and wrong of it is, sir. But leaving the deserters with neither walls nor lights would have left them to the mercy of marauders. Let's hope walls alone are sufficient, then. Oh, inarguably. This town was a pustule on the ass of the architect. Uh, metaphorically speaking. You took it upon yourself to decide the fate of strangers. I don't know whether that's confidence or arrogance. Either way, I'm fascinated. Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I... Wait. What the fuck is this? Is this... French? I can't fucking read French! It's a law-forsaken joke is what it is. French! Ha! I was so high and mighty, preaching to the yokels about following the plan, while fighting it at every turn. There is little more important than such a precious, rare text. I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. Bokonu, the author, had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. Unfortunately, he was also one of the founders of the Philosophist School of Thought, so the book is banned in this colony. Philosophism's a false religion that stands in contradiction to almost everything we know to be true. They believe all is chaos in stark contrast to OSI's belief in the plan. But most of the philosophist perversion of Bokonu's thoughts came more than a century after his death. The story of my life. Most lay people are not aware of this, but we've not discovered any new insights into the plan for a long, long time. I had an idea that we should welcome the truth, no matter where we found it. I had the worse idea to share my thoughts with a superior. And that's how I ended up assigned prison duty, where I was fool enough to let an inmate bend my ear with stories of an original Bokonu journal. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. Free spiritual counseling, someone to watch your back, not to mention a grown-up in the party. I'm 28. Exactly. I'm pretty handy with a tossball stick, or any blunt instrument, really. I'm also a passable gun hand if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. Oh, I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. Well, understanding computers is, though I admit I took it further than most. And I was quite the 32nd back during my penitentiary term. <laughs> left many an opponent bleeding in the prison yard. Of course, I'm a vicar who is dedicated to his calling. More dedicated than any other you'll find in this colony. I joined the OSI to help decipher the grand plan. But instead, I ended up the vicar in a prison due to ignorance and politics. Then I came here. Satisfied? Fantastic. Let me get my things in order and I'll catch up with you.
Edgewater's gonna miss you. Folk here always had good things to say about their vicar. Thank you, Ms. Holcomb. I'll be glad for the change of scenery, and to leave this place behind. I shall see you on the ship, Captain, whenever you're ready to leave Emerald Vale. Canary's dead. This is gonna throw a wrench into my actuarial tables. Oh, I'm an actuary. That means I keep tabs on a worker's living expenses. How much it costs to feed, clothe, shelter, bury, and replace your average human worker. Technically, I'm employed by the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. As I was on the mend, the cannery had to go and shut down. You want to mingle, go try the cantina. Let's see it. Don't keep us waiting. I don't know what that means. Is that some sort of medical condition? Is my plague getting worse or something? You're right, it is. Can't blame a mercenary for trying to make a profit. I've got some time. Thanks. I'll see to it that this medicine gets to the people who need it. Here. Something for your trouble. Nothing personal, but I hope we never do business together again. Don't want to make a habit of consorting with smuggler types. You do have some cheek on you. Lucky for you, I kept a little contingency fee in case you tried to negotiate with me. Somebody deserving. Silas, on account of him being out in the cold. Amelia, seeing how she's around people all the time. Anybody in the sick room? Parvati, come for a visit? Lovely to see you about, Miss Parvati. Things going all right, Silas? Been keeping him careful and true, miss. Best to ask her yourself. My dad's buried here. Silas watches over him when I get... when I can't leave the house. Oh. Well... Thanks. Something I can do for you? Yeah? What about him? Yeah. Funny thing, Eugene's body ain't where it's supposed to be. 
The night we were supposed to commend his body to the earth, I had his grave all dug up and ready, right? And so I thought, I'll just rest my eyes a bit. When I woke up, his body was gone, spirited away, vanished. The footprints nearby suggested that Eugene was stolen by marauders. Or he rose from the dead. Suit yourself. What's on your mind? You run into any trouble? Reliable work from a freelancer. That's gonna take some getting used to. And I'll buy you a drink sometime. Uh. Suppose you've earned it. One good turn deserves another. Abernathy was sick? With the plague? That's disgusting. I shook hands with the guy. What? No. If I knew he was sick, I would have had him reported. I needed his fees because of his name. A for Abernathy. He was at the top of my list, you see? You want to know what gets my bile churning? Edgewater has suffered a cavalcade of disasters, plague, marauders, desertion. Then you wandered in town. And I was so damn sure our luck was starting to turn. I never knew how right I was. Just answer one question for me. Why'd you do it? Is that right? I'm dying to hear this. Please, educate me. Liberating? Edgewater is my home. The only home I've ever had. I put down roots here, gave decades of my life to this place. I never asked to be liberated. Whatever you were hoping to find down here, I advise you to turn around and leave. I have got guards posted with orders to fire on you. Edgewater's dead. Our cannery's dead. Adelaide's deserters are never coming back. Space's choice will shut us down before long. Some of us will die of illness by then. Some will move on. Some will starve. And as for me, I will tender my resignation, whereupon I shall be processed and then duly imprisoned for gross incompetence. Apologies won't give us our lives back, but for what it's worth, I am sorry too. You and I have got nothing more to say to each other. Got it. Heads down. I'm on it.
You're not a big drinker, are you? Power's gone. Law knows how long. Looking to get drunk? Oh, I almost forgot. I'm contractually obligated to recite company slogans to any visitors. Plague got you feeling woozy? Get yourself boozy with Spacer's Choice. to skip rocks in the river till Constable Reyes ticketed me for unlicensed terraforming. I think she's jealous. She don't know how to skip rocks or insect. Any luck finding one of those manuals? No kidding! Really? Well, which one? Look at that! Building a computing machine out of Spectrum Potatoes, a primer. I'm just glad it survived all these years. Two whole data pads? 
be still my beating heart. Oh, almost forgot your payment. Well, don't keep me in suspense. The geothermal plant? Now that is just incredible. You really went exploring down there? Adelaide always told us it was swarming with hostile mechanicals. That's a complete set. All three parts. I'm gonna be the greatest engineer Halcyon's ever seen. Um, aside from you, Ms. Parvati, I swear, I'll do you proud. I'm glad we could help, Thomas. I've been saving something for you. Just a little contraption I found. Should fit right into your outfit. What is it? We didn't always get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. What happened, anyway? Zoe joined up with a band of marauders. Zoe. The same Zoe who doesn't know a barrel from a trigger. Well, I've heard stranger things. You pretty much did my job for me. Least I could do is pay you for your trouble. Let me know if I can do something for you. Is this your ship? Oh my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh, <laughs> listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship, working on a real engine, belonging to a proper crew. Edgewater won't last another season without power, but that don't change the fact that I'm indentured to Spacer's Choice. Company expects me back at my post. I have imagined it, but until you came along, I never thought I had the choice. I want to ask you something, and you can say no, but can I come with you? I could tend to your engine, I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, mister. Captain? I can call you Captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a captain. Well, I certainly am looking forward to flying on a ship named the Unreliable. I'll just head upstairs and claim a room. Captain, I have detected that the town of Edgewater is now without power. I appreciate you doing your part to hasten their demise. <laughs> 